It's hard to believe, guys, but we've been here in Vietnam now for about three months. And how are you liking life in Vietnam, Tien Chan? Um, not bad. Not bad? Yeah. <laughs> not bad? Okay, so on today's ride, we're going to be talking about some of the things we like about living here in Vietnam and also some of the things we don't like about living here in Vietnam. So we'll be giving our initial impressions. And we've also got a new jersey today for yeah. Tien Chan. Nice new kit, nice new shorts. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's ride. Let's go. Let's go. So we're starting our ride here <laughs> over on the beach area of Son Tra in Da Nang, Vietnam, which is where we've been living. And it's about sunset right now. One of the best times to ride right now because it is crazy hot outside. So right now with the peak summer heat, there's only really two times that you can ride throughout the day. And one of those is around sunrise. The other time is around sunset. And we're not able to get up early enough to do a sunrise ride. So we like doing our sunset evening rides. It is pretty busy on certain roads, but there are other roads which are less busy. So this isn't a scripted video. I'll just be going through my thoughts as they come to me. And in no particular order, I'll be talking about some of the good, some of the bad, and starting with the good. Let's start with the positive thing that I like here in Vietnam is there are surprisingly a few vending machines here. So especially here, we're in a tourist town. You can see we're cycling along the beach here and along the beach and some of the popular areas, there are a few vending machines. So you can get a nice cold, refreshing drink which has been really nice because when we were cycling in Thailand, we barely saw any vending machines and we were really missing them from our time in Japan. Although, unfortunately, there's not many vending machines outside of the main tourist areas, but we'll take a few over none. So that's one thing that we really like. The other thing that we really like here and Never mind, let's change this to a negative thing. The thing that we really don't like here is the noise pollution. So you'll hear all the beeping from all the bikes and stuff. And I understand that the people here in Vietnam do the honking, not so much because of anger, but because of safety. They want to let people know like where they are, that they're passing and stuff. Uh, but at the same time, it, uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming at times. And some of the horns can be really loud especially the massive trucks. The horns on those massive trucks just, they really startle you when they do it when they're right next to you. And it's just never ending. You constantly hear the beeps, so uh, Vietnam is definitely a loud country, a country that hits all, <laughs> all forms of stimulation. So whether it be it sight, smell, sound, everything, all of your senses are gonna be very stimulated here. Uh, some people like that. Some people don't like that. So moving back to another positive, as you can tell, cycling here in Da Nang is just a beautiful place, especially along this coastline with all the, the oceanside views. And not just flat oceanside views, we get to go on these hills, the mountains, and we've had some gorgeous scenery cycling here, like some of the best scenery I've seen on any bike rides in my entire life just amazing views here, especially on the top of these steep mountains near the ocean side. It's just gorgeous. Going on to another positive thing that we like, you'll also notice that we've passed a lot of people riding bikes, like bicycles. Not necessarily road bikes like us, there's a lot of people on mountain bikes, a lot of people on city bikes, and just, yeah, a lot of people getting out, getting some exercise on this path. So we're going to this peninsula over here, this is one of the really popular cycling routes here. And the traffic will get a lot better once we're over there. But it's so great to see the increasing number of people getting into cycling here. Not necessarily for like competition, but just as a form of exercise, socializing. We see so many people out on bikes, riding here every day, any time of the day. And it's really great to see that, a growing community here interested in cycling. 
we haven't done too many group rides here yet. There are a few more like competitive groups that will ride together pretty fast, but their group rides here are insanely early. They start, like their meeting point is at 5 a.m. So you have to like leave your house at 4.30 to get to the meeting point, start the ride at five, and we are not capable of getting up that early yet. I'm sure the weather's a lot better, but we really gotta work on improving our uh, sleeping routine so we can get up early. We've been enjoying the sunset rides like this though. Um, the other thing that we don't really like with Vietnam, especially here on this road, it is really bad. And that is the, the jaywalking. Like people just walk into the street without even looking. It happens so often. I usually try and ride like as close to the side of the road as possible, like right here. So that way more people, more cars can pass, but it's actually really dangerous to do that because people will just walk into the road randomly and bikes will also pass on the inside uh, really fast. And yeah, the people, when they cross the road, they just walk across the road like they're just walking in their house from a room to another room. A lot of them won't even look. They just expect you to stop and they get the, the right of way or whatever. And there are some designated crosswalks, which of course, as a vehicle or a bicycle, you should be cautious about pedestrians, but it gets really sketchy when pedestrians just walk across the road wherever, especially in a busy area with other bikes going backwards like that. You see that a lot here. A lot of bikes, scooters, will be riding backwards on the road so this is kind of a continuation on that point in general is that the, the roads here are really dangerous. Like no joke, really dangerous. We're coming, I'm coming from the US. Uh, we lived in Japan for a long time. We lived in Thailand for the last few months and by far the, the roads here are just way on a whole nother level. Um, Thailand still was kind of dangerous at times, but I think it's more dangerous here just because there's more people riding on the opposite way of the road. You won't see that so much up here once we get up to this peninsula area, but uh, when you're in the city center kind of areas, there's people riding the opposite of the road direction all over. And some of them are speeding like pretty fast. So the roads here, pretty dangerous. You have to be really attentive. I feel like riding alone, it's pretty safe because as long as you're alert to those kinds of things, you can be pretty safe, but it is pretty dangerous to ride in a group because maybe the front person can react, but the person behind isn't going to be able to react as smoothly. And it's really hard when you're going at a fast pace and you're riding close together. So it can be really dangerous when people walk into the road, even bikes will just randomly pop into the road. So here we are, we're starting the uh, intercontinental peninsula segment. The cars start to filter down here a little bit, but at the sunset time, it is pretty popular because there's some amazing views up here. And so a lot of people come out to take pictures. During the middle of the day and after sunset though, this place is empty. It's a great place to ride. And while we're on the topic of roads, that's another thing that's sort of good and bad here is the road quality on some of the, the main roads here, like this one, the road quality is pretty decent. And yeah, some really good road quality on some of the main roads. This one has a, a nice little shoulder here, which allows us to still ride and the cars to still pass and go by. Once you get off of the, the more main roads, some of the more side roads, and even some of the side like climbs, the pavement can get really rough, lots of gravel, lots of big rocks and gaps, potholes, so. We, we do a lot of riding on our road bikes, but at the same time, uh, I kind of wish we did have a gravel bike here for some of the other roads. Tun Chang crushing the hills here. That's the thing I really like about this segment here is we get all these rolling hills. Nothing too steep, some nice rollers, some up and down. Here we are approaching one of the main view corners. So this is where everyone takes the pictures and just beautiful views all along this coastline here.
So we're just riding here a little bit today. Today is our off day. We're just doing a nice little recovery spin. Let's head back towards the city, but you can keep going on this road. This way you can see the nice views of the city. Hopefully they'll show up nice on this camera. There we go, Da Nang City right over there. So here we are making our way back into the city and I want to show you guys what it's like cycling in some of the other areas here. We're really lucky here in Da Nang because this is a more modern city so we've got some more modern roads. This one's really wide. We get four lanes, two for each direction and not too much traffic here but uh, you do need to be really careful in these intersections because they don't have any stop signs or stop lights. It's just kind of a free-for-all. Whoever gets in the intersection first gets the right-of-way. <laughs> Unless you're a big truck and maybe you can just honk your way uh, to getting the right-of-way. Uh, so you can't go too fast here because it'll be really dangerous if you go into the one of these intersections really fast and you can't stop in time if some bike's doing the same in the other direction. So uh, yeah, that's another thing I don't really like about the roads here is you have to be really careful especially in certain areas these are cool though we've got the roundabouts i really like roundabouts and they're really good keep the flow of traffic nice and smooth so uh, yeah things like that you got to be really careful you don't know is that bike just gonna pop right in the middle of the road we tend to ride pretty defensively we stay towards the end of this lane some guys beeping behind us because we're moving over so you got to be careful on your right you got to be careful on your left always <laughs> you cannot let your guard down at all so here we are things are getting a little bit livelier here we got some shops here and we're gonna show you one of the nice sunset view areas over here Tung found this spot she's been wanting to show me so I haven't been over here yet this is another thing I really like about Vietnam is there are a lot of areas with trees, especially like tree canopy roads like this. And especially like in the city center, there's a lot of trees. So they seem to maintain them really well, take care of them. So that's great to see. It's nice to have the extra shade and plus they just look beautiful. So I really like that. I noticed that in some of the big cities as well, even in Hanoi, they have a lot of big trees. So really, really like that. This is another thing I really, really love, and that is the traffic lights have countdowns. So you know exactly when the light is gonna turn green. So we gotta wait 20 more seconds. So you can like pace your timing so you don't have to unclip maybe, or if you're doing an interval. Yep, we got our loud track, of course. And even when you have a green light, you gotta be really careful because People will just go like these people. And like I mentioned, that bike tries to pass on the right side, even though we were already on the very far right side. Uh, these little shops here on the side of the road are also really cool. Something I really love here is the Nook Mia. It's the sugar cane juice. So you can find those almost on any street and it's great. It's really refreshing on a hot day. We'll fill it in a cup with ice. Just fresh sugar cane juice, that's it. Some might add a little bit of lime and it tastes so good. They're usually about like 10,000 dong, so about 50 cents. Maybe a little more if you get a bigger size. And they tend to charge foreigners a little bit more. Luckily, my wife does all the ordering when we ride together. So you don't have that issue. Here we go. We got lots of bridges here and some beautiful views. This is one of the port areas. We got the Vietnam Coast Guard over there. These are some of the mountains we climb regularly. On the right, we got Monkey Mountain. A little bit further behind there, that's the Hai Van Pass. 
So we climb both of those usually every week. And then over here, we've got the city center with all the skyscrapers. Love riding this time of day. Not hot, not cold. Still pretty humid, so it is a little warm, but it's comfy. Fishing. I don't want to eat the fish here. <laughs> and we got a, a bunch of boats over here. I think there is a fish market over here somewhere. It smells like fish. Yeah, check out all those boats over there. All of them have the Vietnam flag, like every single one, literally. Okay, this is a new road for me. Tin Chan's leading the way. Oh, this is nice. I've got a fluffy white dog over there. So you'll notice there's a lot of garbage over here. Granted, this is like not a busy road, not a popular road, but uh, you get this also on the busy roads here. So this is another big thing I don't like here in Vietnam is there's a big trash problem, uh, just trash everywhere. <laughs> like you can see, it's just piled up here and it's like this everywhere. So this isn't like the exception. This isn't just some random side road that's not busy. Even the busy roads look like this. It's just kind of nasty to see. Like it's really pleasant and some parts you get the trees. Uh, the road quality is pretty nice. And some of the houses look really nice, but it just, I don't know, gets taken away when you see just garbage littered all over the place. And yeah, people don't seem to, maybe people take care of their own stuff, but they don't like taking care of the, the stuff around their stuff. I see a lot of shopkeepers, they just sweep garbage outside of the shop into the street and they think, okay, my job's done. But then, I mean, if there's any wind or cars, they're just gonna blow that right back in. So yeah, I wish people here had a, I don't know, or cared more about cleaning up a little bit, keeping things clean. I was really impressed with that in our time in Thailand, especially in Chiang Mai. I hear like Chiang Mai is a little bit more well off compared to other provinces in Thailand. So maybe other areas in Thailand are a little bit more dirty, but Chiang Mai was spotless. We didn't see any garbage anywhere. It was beautiful. And unfortunately can't say the same here. There are some places that are pretty nice, but we'll see garbage every kilometer for sure. And of course, nothing compares to Japan. There's no garbage anywhere. This is nice. Nice little nature path back here. Ah, this is it. Tung found this really cool attraction here. That's why we're coming over here. She wanted to show this to us. Oh, this is cool. Uh, this is a hotel over here and they built this little park. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. It's just like a, a little monument park. So they have a bunch of famous monuments like rebuilt over here at a smaller scale. And Tung filmed the full walking video here. So yeah. if you want to see the full place, yeah. go check out her video. We'll link it here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, what do we got? We got the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> We got the pyramids. That's a cool place. So there's a bunch of people that have businesses on their bikes like this. And on one hand, it's really cool. It's convenient because you can find like shops everywhere to get some food, to get some drinks. But I don't like it when they play like the sound on the speakers because like otherwise this would be a nice quiet place to relax and enjoy. But you're stuck listening to that audio track on loop the whole time. So this is one of the larger bridges over here. We get a cool viewpoint. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a nice sunset viewing spot. You get the bridge over there. So you get to see the mountains over there. Just beautiful views all over. So let's see if Tianchan has anything to add to today's topic. What do you like about Vietnam and what do you not like about Vietnam? Okay, we'll start with likes. I like Vietnamese food. And That's it? Yeah. That's the only... Yes. Of course, near my family. Uh-huh. Yeah. Only foods. Only food. Yeah, only foods. That's it? Yeah. Okay. What do you dislike? Uh, traffic. No traffic rules. Uh, no traffic rules? Yes. Uh, people don't follow traffic rules? So, <laughs> so dangerous. Yes. Yes. And uh, cookie? Air. Air. Air quality? Yeah. Not good. Air quality not good? Yes. Uh, Danang, not bad. Not bad, but... But many cars. Yes. So lots of gas. Yeah, yeah. The, the roads. Yeah. Yeah. And... But, the roads are many roads. Many roads. Yeah, lots of garbage. A lot of people... A lot of dirt yes. on the roads. Yes. Yeah. And the roads are so dirty. Yes. And the roads are so dirty. Yes. And the roads are so dirty. Yes. And the roads are so dirty. Yeah. You can even see here, we got quite a bit of garbage just littering. Yeah. People will eat here and then just throw the garbage away. Yeah. 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 Garbage everywhere. Yes. yes. I don't like. Yeah. I. Uh, stinky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that summarizes most of our impressions here for our first three months here in Vietnam. Uh, maybe there was some stuff I missed, so if you have any other questions, leave them down below in the comments. And maybe it's different in some other areas in Vietnam. We still want to explore uh, Dalat in the mountains. We want to go to Sapa, the northern mountains. So maybe it's different in some other areas in Vietnam. And we're going to continue riding here, filming more cycling videos. So if you're interested in cycling and life here in Vietnam, make sure you're subscribed so you can see our next video. And we're going to finish up our ride, continue on. Do a little bit of night cycling here, get some food, and we'll see you in the next video. We want to say a special thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thanks to you guys' for support, we're able to film more videos like this. And if you have any requests for future videos, make sure you write them down below in the comments. And we'll see you next time here on Two Wheel Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.